You know, Major League Soccer has this certain stigma that they only get the players who cannot succeed overseas or they get those that are in the twilight of their careers or they're just the up-and-comers, the Freddie Adus, if you will, and then they go on to bigger and better clubs. However, for Didier Drogba, of course, of Galatasaray and had a fantastic career at Chelsea, and now for Samir Nasri, they are both making these subtle little hints at coming over to the United States and playing in Major League Soccer. Now, as you guys know, a, a very educated audience here on TYT Sports, Samir Nasri came up through Olympique Marseille, of course, in France. He has obviously played for the national team. Here is what he told a French newspaper, and I quote, Clearly, economic reality stops me from thinking about playing at OM as an Olympic Marseille right now. In the future, I don't know. I would like to discover the MOS. I love American culture. And then let me read you Drogba's quote via uh, Yahoo and Sports Illustrated. I don't know, maybe one day it would be another challenge. For now, I'm more focused on what I can do with Galatasaray. But if the time comes and if there is a possibility in MLS, why not? New York is great. Everybody knows that I love the U.S. So these subtle little hints that they're dropping, except it, it, is, it is under a harsh microscope here locally in the United States, because the MLS is striving and incredibly hungry. It's a growing league, but they also want those incredibly notable players like Samir Nasri and the Didier Drogba's. Now, Nasri, again, he, he has came up through Olympic Marseille. His youth career was there. He played for Marseille at the Stadio Velodrome, and then he went to Arsenal. He had a good career at Arsenal, and then is now with Manchester City. He has been there, uh, I believe, since 2011. A French player of the year is Samir Nasri. Now, this would be a fantastic signing for not just the MLS, but for a up-and-comer. Now, the one team that he is being linked with, along with all other Manchester City club players, is, of course, New York City FC, which is set to debut in 2015. The reason that they are linked is because, and I'll get to Nasri uh, in just one second, the reason that those players of Manchester City, Nasri, Clichy, a few others, Gareth Barry, uh, are linked is because uh, the Manchester City owners just bought, with the Yankees owners, New York City Football Club. Of course, to, as I told you, debut in 2015. Samir Nasri's contract is up in 2015. Seems a little ironic. Seems like he'll make the move. At least I hope he makes the move. He'll be bordering on 28, 29 years old. So now I asked you guys to chime in on Twitter on what you think about Samir Nasri coming to the MLS. So here were your thoughts. Marwan Magzawi. There's no way I said that correctly. But he says, reply to Eric Strom, no, MLS is for retiring player. Wait, what? The MLS is for retiring players? Out of anything, Thierry Henry, uh, Tim Cahill, David Beckham, those weren't really retiring players, so elaborate your point in the comments. Nitram Nezdredep tweets Eric Strom, I don't see why not. It worked when Beckham joined the MLS. Nazri is not as popular as him. Yeah, true. But he's a well-known player. Eric Claremark says, nah, he would just get benched. Why would he get benched? He would be the star player of any team, and plus he would be the face of an up-and-coming franchise, the third, you could say, in New York. Uh, then he always goes on to say, on a serious note, it would benefit the MLS to some extent, I agree. Rip City Boy tweets Eric Strom, as long as he's in his 20s, it's a good move. MLS can't keep bringing in ex-stars in their 30s for much longer. Hashtag perspective. Oh, wisdom. Thank you. Richard Greenwood tweets Eric Strom, of course. The more talent coming here will spike American and European interest in the American game. Can only be good. Yeah, I agree with that. Paulo Camaro says he's still got around five more years of top flight playing time. Of course, it would benefit MLS, but I see him retiring in France. He also hinted at a move of going back to Marseille, it should be noted. Uh, a few more. Phil Camps. Hey, good to see you again, Phil. Yes, I'd love to see him go to the MLS. That'd be great, just so I don't have to watch him <laughs> in the Prem uh, every week. Steven van der Rijk, who has received some criticism in the comments, says, of course, it would benefit the MLS. He could perhaps be the next Beckham. That's a bold statement to say the least. Fatima Yasin says Nazri will go wherever the money is. That's kind of true. So it would benefit the league and him. Oliver, uh, Oliver, Oliver Furuseth, three type of strong. He's not going to join now and when he does it will be for New York City FC. So he agrees with me. He will be great for two years before leaving OM. Kadim Anthony, this will be the last one, second to last one, tweet Jeffrey Strom. If the money's right, Nasri will go. Fellow Arsenal fans know what I'm talking about. Okay, fine. And Mark, a huge supporter of FC Dallas, tweet Jeffrey Strom. Yes, MLS hasn't had a good old-fashioned villain since Blanco left. He would fit the smug prick, but great player. 
<laughs> Great player, mold perfect. All right, so some harsh comments here from Mark. So what do you guys think about Samir Nasri possibly going to the MLS in a few years or even New York City FC? Leave a thought in the comments section below. That would greatly help us out. And do me a favor and click both of these buttons, at least click this button right here. That would greatly help us out as well.